Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to create the previous month formula field. So what we've done is we've navigated to our activity object. Now you can do this on any object that has a date field. So in our case, we want to, the scenario that we're going to do is we want to identify any event that took place in the previous month. So on the activity object, we've gone to fields and relationships. Then we're going to select formula. Click next. We're going to name it previous month and select checkbox. Click next. And from here, we want to essentially have two dates we want to compare. The first date is we're going to take the month of when our actual activity took place. So we're going to do the date field on the activity. And we're going to click insert. Now we want to compare it to what today's date is, the month of today's date, minus one. So whether or not it's the previous month. So we're going to use the month function again. Then the date we want to compare it to is against today. So the month of today, then minus one. So that will get you to the previous month. So for example, if today's date was in May, then it would be the month of May would show up here, minus one would get you to April. So if the activity date is in April, uh, then, and it equals April, then this will check. This checkbox will be true. Then we're going to click next. We want to make it visible and next from there and click save. So that is how you go about creating uh, a formula field to indicate the previous month. So thank you for watching our channel. Please like and subscribe. Thanks.